I've got a new tobacco blend. Let me try your tobacco. This tastes incredible. I've never had a better smoke in my life. How did you prepare this blend? I mixed the tobacco with honey. You have done well, father of the art of blending. I would be delighted to fill my miserable pipes with this. Fill her up, then. Thank you, son of generosity. No other blend could be as good as this one. I shall buy every bit you can bring me of this. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the honorable... Have you come to pay? All right, I'll pay up. You leave me no choice. Good. Then I shall see to it that your reputation with the merchants rises once again. I've got to go. Suit yourself. He simply talks too much. Someone's got to do. Show me your wares.
Couldn't get away with that. As if I didn't have enough problems. I used to say that myself. I've got no time for things like that. Hey! What's new? I heard you kill Esteban. Hey, man, you're planning something, aren't you? About the blood flies? What do you want to know? How do I remove the secretion from the blood flies? Cut open the upper layer of the stinger lengthwise. Then the healing secretion will flow right out. That way it's completely safe to suck out a stinger, or use it for some potions. Show me your wares. I have a potion for you. It will help you to remember. I trust you. And? Ah! I remember again. Now I see. Adonos, be with me. What have I done? Yes, what have you done? And above all, what has Raven done? I helped him to make contact with him. He wanted various elixirs. I brewed them for him. He tried to open the portal to get into the temple. Why? What does he want in the temple? A powerful artifact. It lies buried together with the one who once bore it. A mighty warrior who fell to him. And then? We couldn't open the portal. But Raven was sure that he could. If he had the tomb of the priest excavated, that's why he brought the slaves here. Victims he could force to dig where the powers of time lie at rest. Tomb of the priest? The resting place of a priest of Adonos. It lies in the mine. I also remember the stone tablets. He believed that they would show him the way. And once he was able to decipher the characters on them, he no longer needed me. He put a spell of forgetfulness on me. And, and you have freed me. Those are all just rumors. He simply needs to practice more.
Hey, do you want to go digging? Then don't forget to stock up with Scatty. What do I need then? Well, at the very least, a pickaxe. And some provisions can't hurt. Or how about some healing potions? There are mine crawlers down there. How's business? Since the tomb has been open, there hasn't been much demand. Raven has no more use for his slaves. That's why they're mining gold now, on Bloodland's orders. And the diggers are taking it easy. The diggers who take it easy aren't good for business. Bloodwind, is he in charge here? He oversees the mine. But he's almost never down here. He spends most of his time with Raven in the temple. What exactly does almost never mean? Last time I saw him was when he came out of the tomb. No ways. The last time he was here was when he sent the slaves to mine the gold. Unlike Raven, he is very interested in gold. What sort of tomb? A cursed, unlucky tomb. The guardians of the tomb have killed many men. Guardians? Are you talking about creatures of stone, rather flat with a round head? That's exactly what I mean. They came out of the depths of the stone by the dozen. I knew from the beginning that it wasn't good to dig out the tomb. But Raven was possessed with the idea of digging there. And once the tomb was finally uncovered, he marched in there with his guards. What did Raven want in the tomb? Hmm, you're pretty curious. You remind me of a fellow I once knew. He was just as curious. And eventually it was his undoing. Get to the point. What happened in the tomb? Well, <clears throat> my throat is really dry. Hey, Scatty, not now. This is important. So what did Raven do there? All right. He... He called... Summon something. He kept calling out words in a foreign language. Bright light poured out of the tomb. And then I heard a scream that cut right through me. A demonic scream. And then? That's all I know. At that moment, Bloodwind came out of the tomb and said I should beat it. And that's what I did. It also didn't take long before Raven and his boys disappeared back into the temple. And since then, Raven hasn't been seen. What do I have to know about mining gold? Take a pickaxe in your hand and whack a lump of gold. Anyone could do that, but many nuggets will shatter that way. That's why only people who understand mining should do it. I can tell you more once you have some more experience. Would you like a drink? A beer would really hit the spot. There's hardly any beer here in camp, but maybe Lucia still has a bottle. There you go. Oh, that tastes good. Thanks, man. You're my hero. Hey, you! Everything all right? Nice and regular. That's the way to get fat nuggets. Why haven't I heard about this before? Hey, you! What's up? I'm really slaving away. Well, the main thing is I won't get eaten by a crawler. Hey, you! Can you judge my gold digging abilities? For you, I'd say you're uh, a genuine digger. 
Back at work? Yeah. Now I'm getting the very last piece of gold out of this mine. Hey! What are you doing? Are you melting down your gold? No, I'm washing vegetables. Of course I'm melting down gold, and I'm making coins out of it. Because just imagine, one fine evening Raven comes along and shoves a coin die in my hands. Out of one single gold nugget, I can mint a heap of coins. I'm so good that no one can tell the difference. How many coins will you give me for one nugget? Well, I don't know you at all, but I'll make you a special price. For one nugget, I'll give you ten gold pieces. Let's haggle. Mm, no. That's the standard price everyone gets. I thought that was a special price. It is. Everyone here is special to me. What do you know about Raven? You won't believe it. I was there. I saw what he did in the tomb. He mumbled and called some strange words over and over. Cardimon, Fatang Shatar, Fatang Beliar. And then a blazing light came out of the tomb and I heard the scream. Oh, ye gods, that voice. That was the sound of the end of the world. Raven spoke with it. They conversed. Raven and that voice. I can't remember what they said. I just know that I can only master my limbs again many hours later, back in the camp. Let's trade. for gold. I see. And who ordered that? That is a direct order from Bloodwind. I thought Raven was the boss here. Right, but he gave the slaves to Bloodwind. He doesn't have any more use for them. Let the slaves go. Listen, Bloodwind is in command here. The slaves belong to him, so he has the right to set them free. Besides, Thoris also has a say in that. And what about you? Do you have any say? I decide who goes into the mine. You're doing Esteban's old job. Then you have absolutely no say here. Buzz off! Hey, you! Hey, I'm all right. But Pardis is pretty much down and out. If there's anything you want, talk to Patrick. He's our spokesman. Hey, what do you want? I'm just an imprisoned worker. I haven't done a thing. Hey. I've been sent by the water mages. I've come to free you. Really? Well, why should I believe you? Do you want to get out of here or not? Of course I want to get out, but... Uh... Vatra sent me. If that's not enough for you, you can all rot in this hole for all I care. All right, I believe you. Really? Wow, that went faster than I thought. Okay, now all we need is a plan. Trying to flee poses a great risk. William tried and he bought it. Prisoners are peasants and workers. They trust me, but they won't dare to mount an escape. What do you want me to do? Get you a pardon from Raven? Hey, not a bad idea. But that can't be the plan. Just see to it that the guards don't attack us and then we'll get out of here. Okay, I'll handle that. Tell the others to get ready. How are you holding up? I'm beat. 
completely worn out. Is it a glorious sunny day or one of those clear nights where a thousand stars are twinkling? I don't know. Where's the gentle rain of summer? The cool evening breeze. I can feel them no longer. It's the eyes that go first in here. Hang in there. Your rescue is near. Thanks. Thanks for your words. Here, drink this. Thanks. That does me good. How are you now? Better. Thanks to you, I can feel my strength returning. Hey, you! Hey, how's it going? I'm alive. That's all I care about. If you've got something to discuss, Patrick's your man. What do I have to know about mining gold? Well, the angle at which you strike is crucial for efficient mining. Not too flat and not too steep. That way, you'll get the nuggets and make your pick hold up forever. How's it going? It's too bad that we still have so few slaves. We'll have to get some new ones soon. These guys are totally done in. Probably because they get so little they eat. <laughs> but I'd rather send the diggers back to work than give these dogs a piece of meat. Do you know anything about the tomb? Yes. The tomb is behind this passage. Just follow the bodies and you'll find it. there. Hey! Who told you that? How's it going? I'm cooking a delicious stew for the diggers and guards. But the slaves, they don't get anything. Some stale water and old bread at the most. <laughs> that won't hurt those city boys. That's totally obvious. Nobody wants to know. Anything's possible. Is there a problem? Mine crawlers. Lots and lots of mine crawlers. We've run into a nest here. 
Why don't we attack the crawlers? I asked that too. But the guards had more important things to do. Bloodwood has left it to me to remove this problem. I don't suppose you're planning to fight the crawlers? Why should I? So that we can get at the gold in the cave? Bloodwin will just take most of it for himself anyway. And I'm not risking my neck for the little bit I'd get. If you want to fight the crawlers, don't let me stop you. Only don't lure them all out here, okay? Can you tell me more about Bloodwin? Yes, he's a gold-hungry bastard. He inspects every new vein and every nugget. He can't go too far out of his way for gold. But we don't mean shit to him. And otherwise? He thinks he's the greatest and can't stand it if someone is better off than he is. Okay, I wouldn't go up against him, even so. Just stay out of his way and don't provoke him. Unless you want him to get furious and lose control. So, that should be it. The crawlers are finished. Bloodwind is already on the way. That's what you wanted, isn't it? I mean, you slaughtered the crawlers so Bloodwind would come here. So whatever you're planning, do it now. Hey, you killed the mine crawlers? Good. I'll take over now. Go on, beat it. Wait a minute. You still aren't gone? We still have to set something straight. I'm looking for Raven. Yeah, and what makes you think that Raven wants to talk to you at all? Wait, are you? Is it you? You're the guy we've been looking for for the whole time. What are you doing here? You should be long dead. People are always telling me that. Those morons all failed. But you won't get past me. This time, I'll finish you. Like I already said, it's Raven I'm looking for. You aren't important to me. I'll kill you. I've survived every battle so far. Everything comes to an end. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll defeat you all the same. And I survived the explosion of the barrier without a scratch. And who do you think brought down the barrier? Ah, you miserable dog. You can't defeat me. I'm Raven's best friend. His right hand. Obviously, he's got no time to be picky. Ah, you miserable dog!
Enough talk. Let's fight. It's too late for you anyway. Raven is opening the temple right now. Ha ha ha! Die, bastard! You sure showed that bum. Nice work. Then I'll take a look around the cave. Wait a minute. Wow. Man, there sure is a lot of gold here. To get the junks up there, we'd actually need a ladder. But since the fall of the barrier, nobody's been using ladders anymore. It's really too bad. What are you planning? What? Now you've cleared Bloodwin out of the way too. I'm just asking myself who's next, Raven or me? Are you afraid? I'm not afraid of a fight, but I am afraid of the consequences of your actions. This camp is the only thing we have left. It may not have always run to perfection, but it does run. And with every person you kill, another piece of our community breaks up. We are bandits. Outcasts, lawbreakers, desperados. Wherever we go, we're hunted, locked up, and killed. There is no better place for us than this. No better time than now. What are you getting at? These men need someone to lead them. Who should that be? You? You who is constantly roaming from place to place? Then you take over the leadership of the camp. Okay, but what about Raven? Raven will soon have other worries. I'll take care of him. Oh, yes, and make sure that the prisoners can leave the camp in peace. All right. I shall take care of all the guards out here. Let the slaves go. Do you have any say? Nobody wants to I talked with Thoris. He ordered the slaves to be set free. Okay, if Thoris ordered it, but I have to ask myself why he decided on something like that. But you aren't being paid to ask questions. All right, all right. I'm obviously not needed here anymore, so I'll go get me some stew. All's well. You can make yourselves scarce. Great. 
I know a cave in the swamp where we can gather for now, but then what? Leave the swamp towards the southwest. The water mages have set up their camp near the ruins of the old temple. They're going to show you the way out of this valley. Thanks, thank you so much. We are all very deeply... Uh... Never mind. You again? You're getting on my nerves. Here, do you still want to stop me now? Is, is that... Is that blood one? Oh, rats! Oh. Uh, yes, uh, uh, no, I mean, uh, you can go in.
What with? Hey, you! About Raven. There is even a fellow with the bandits who claims to know Raven's plans. His name is Fortuno. He says that Raven wants to get into the temple to get a powerful artifact. And? Did he know more about this artifact? He could only tell me that Raven has had the grave of a priest of Adonis opened. This grave may contain the key to the temple. You should take a look around there. Raven has forced the prisoners to excavate the grave of the priest. That is not good. You must hurry and stop Raven. I made my way into Raven's quarters. And? What about Raven? I came too late. He disappeared into the Adonis Temple right before my eyes. What? That is a catastrophe. Why didn't you follow him? I couldn't follow Raven. He blocked the entrance from inside. I must think. The question is, how did Raven get into the temple? And what did he do before he passed through the portal? He spoke an incantation at the gate. And before that? He opened a burial chamber. I already told you about that. Right. A ritual. Yes, that's it. I fear that Raven has made the power of the guardians of the dead his own. He got his knowledge of the temple from a spirit. You must go to Mixier and tell him about this. May Adonos protect you. Saturus sent me. Raven has made his way into the temple and blocked the portal from the inside. Saturus thinks he got his information about the temple from a ghost. By Adonis, he must have summoned the high priest Cardamon to ask him about a way into the temple. According to the records, his grave was in the caves under the fortress. You will have to do the same, but you cannot ask Cardamon anymore. The grave of the warrior prince Quahodron is supposed to lie in the west of the valley. You will have to find it and waken Quahodron. It is written in these inscriptions how a believer of Adonos can summon a spirit. Do you think that'll really work? I've read a lot of crazy ramblings. For example, the writings of Iberian, the leader of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. But I believe every word of the author of these writings. The Brotherhood of the Sleeper didn't spread just lies. The Sleeper really existed. But it wasn't their lies that made them implausible. It was their words as such. They were more confusing than believable. They showed the excessive use of the swamp weed they smoked. It is the seriousness and prudence in the words on this stone tablet that convinced me that this man wrote the truth. Why Korhodron? Why not the High Priest Cardamon? Raven has desecrated the grave of Cardamon with his summoning. We can assume that. We shall have to look for another spirit. Are you really serious? I want to explore every possibility. Even if there is only a ghost of a chance for us to meet one of the builders, then we have to do it. Raven has managed to do it after all. Assuming I want to summon this ghost, what do I have to do? Find Quarhodron's grave in the west of the valley. His ghost can be summoned by the words of the Guardians of the Dead, which I have written for you here. That's all. Now you just have to find the grave. Good luck, my son. What was that again about the warrior prince Quarhodron? You have to find his grave and summon his ghost with the words of the Guardians of the Dead. I have written the words down. 
You just have to read them aloud. About the mansions? Yes. The mansion of the warriors is being used by Raven as a hideout. He made a good choice. It is probably the most secure fortress still to be found in this region. I found all of the mansions. Were they all where they said they would be? More or less. Very good. Then my work was worth it. Thank you. <laughs> 